I am running errands for the day. I've got doctor's appointments for the kids. I've just got a lot of things going on today. So um, I need to put just a little bit of makeup on. I don't need to. I want to put a little bit of makeup on. And I thought I would turn on the camera and show you the makeup I'm gonna be wearing today. It's just gonna be a very quick, everyday, simple makeup routine. But y'all seem to really like my last one, so I thought I would do another. So here she is. Let's get started. All right. Pyong Kong Yol Nutrition Cream. Haven't even moisturized my face yet. Did my skincare, but did not moisturize. So I'm gonna slather this all over. SPF that has been discontinued. So yeah. All right, and I'm gonna put a little bit of this Sigma lip oil, Renew lip oil, enriched with jojoba oil, sunflower seed oil, and vitamin E. They actually sent me a few of their new launches, which probably probably be in my next video because I really wanna play with um, their products. I've actually never tried Sigma makeup before or brushes or really anything, so. I'll probably play around with their new eyeshadow palettes in my next video, but I'm just gonna use this to prep my lips. And then for my base today, I wore this the other day and I loved the way that it looked on my skin. So I'm gonna try it again, see how it wears today. I'm actually gonna be gone all day, so it'll be good little kind of wear test. So Vita Labrata Beauty Blur, this is a holy grail staple of mine. I love this. Honestly, this is what I would normally wear on a day like this. Just throw this on. But I'm going to mix in a little bit of this Alme Smart Shade Skin Tone Matching Makeup. Um, and this is in the shade Straight Up Medium. So I mixed these two together the other day. Whew, it was it was a good little combo. So Vita Liberata Beauty Blur. I'm going to do like half a pump. And I have this in the shade Medium. And then... Also have the Alme in the shade medium. I'm gonna pump that on my hand. This one, it's one of those products that comes out white and then once you blend it in, the little pigment capsules burst and the pigment comes out. But I'm just gonna warm those up in my hands and then apply that to my face. And I like the combination of these two because the Alme gives it a little bit more coverage and it also makes it a little bit more matte. So um, when I'm gonna be gone all day outside, just kind of in and out, and I've got both kids by myself, which usually makes me a little bit more sweaty <laughs> than normal. I like to go for a little bit more of a matte finish, but I just love the combination of these two. They look so so beautiful. The coverage is so perfect. And honestly, the combination of these two reminds me a lot of my Oxygenetics foundation. That looks pretty dang good. Yeah, I love those two together. That is such a pretty combo. I actually have a new concealer as well. I purchased this myself. This is the Chantecai Le Camouflage Stylo Anti-Fatigue Corrector Pen. I bought this in the shade 4. This was a uh, heavily influenced by Ingrid Nelson, and I heard her raving about it, and so I went ahead and picked it up. I love basically everything by Shantikai, so I thought, why not? And I'm going to apply it and then let it sit for a second, because um, it doesn't have a lot of coverage, but if I let it sit for a second, I get a little bit more coverage. They found me. All right, and then I'm gonna take this Ilia complexion brush and just blend that out. All right, and then for a little bit of bronzer, I'm actually gonna use my Danessa Myricks Power Bronzer. This is in the shade Light. Hopefully this works on me. I've got quite a bit of color. Um, but I just wanted something a little bit more matte today. I'm definitely going for more of a matte face today. It's just going to be hot and dealing with two kids um, usually makes me 
quite sweaty. Yeah, this is kind of blending into my skin up on my forehead. On my cheeks, it's showing up a little bit, but it's just a little too light for me right now. Actually makes for a really nice, just kind of natural bronzer. Kind of like, just got a little bit of sun, but definitely can't tell that I applied bronzer. It's actually really pretty. All right, so I'm gonna powder my face. And I've been really enjoying the Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil Pressed Setting Powder. This is their new powder. This has been lovely. So this past weekend was 4th of July weekend. And um, we were outside for 10 plus hours. And I wore this powder that entire day. And it looked so good. And it's really nice for touch-ups because it comes with... And actually a really nice sponge. So all I did just kind of throughout the day, I just pat a little bit, patted it in the areas where I needed a little bit more mattifying. And this is lovely. It reminds me a lot of my Bare Skin Perfecting Veil, which is one of my favorite powders of all time. All right, and then I'm gonna take this Ilia Finishing Powder Brush and set, and set my whole face. Oh, the joys of getting ready with children. Yeah, this powder looks incredible. It's mattifying, but it's not like drying. You can, like my skin still looks like skin. It's very, very blurring. And yeah, this is such a lovely powder. And I use this in the shade Sheer Light, which I thought was gonna be way too light for me. Honestly, looking at the shades online, I'm probably medium. But because it is so sheer, this actually works very nice on my skin. I'm definitely able to use it. So yeah, this is, oh, this is such a good powder. Such a good powder. If you're looking for a really nice pressed powder, or if you've tried the Bare Skin Perfecting Veil and you like that powder, I think you'll really, really like this one. It's really lovely. And then for blush, this is another All May product that I'm uh, kind of playing with. This is their Healthy Hue Blush. And I don't know the name of it. Um, I will put it in the description box, but there's no name on the back. I might have ripped it off when I ripped the sticker off, but it's a really pretty kind of like peachy bronzy shade. These are so nice. They almost feel like creams. It's a really nice formula. Um, I'm not too familiar with Alme products. I feel like in terms of drugstore makeup, they are definitely one of the more like underwhelming brands. I don't really get excited about their products and I don't have a lot of experience with their products, but wow, the blush and the smart shade, so good. Yeah, I'm really loving this blush. I love this color too. Um, and then I believe all of their packaging is recyclable. Um, I can't remember where I saw that. Oh, made with sustainably sourced paper. So I'm assuming you can recycle it as long as you take the pan out. Um, I don't know. I'll have to look into that. But yeah, so really been enjoying this blush. It's such a pretty color. Again, I'll link the uh, name down below. All right, and then for highlighter today... Not that I need highlighter because I'm gonna be sweaty and probably a little oily, um, but I wanna use my One Day Beauty Skin Do. So this is in the shade Rose. It's this really pretty kind of thick cream. And I just like to take a tiny, tiny bit. And while this is a cream highlighter, it actually sets down to a matte finish. So I find just for days like this when I want a little bit more glow, but, you know, I don't want anything that's going to slip and slide around my face. This is actually a really nice formula for that, so. I will say with these, uh, the best way to apply them is to pick it up with your finger, really work it on the back of the hand, warm it up, and then apply it. If you just go in with your finger and then apply it, it can sometimes be a little bit patchy, especially since we've already powdered the face. Like on this side, it got a little bit patchy because I did not warm it up. Um, so yeah, that is a tip, but yeah, it's such a pretty highlighter. 
Again, really nice if you want some glow, but you don't want anything slippery on the face. Yeah, everything's looking so pretty right now. Loving everything. All right, so let's do some brows. I'm actually gonna do my brows on camera, which I never do, but since I'm actually getting ready, I'm just gonna use the Huda Beauty Balm Brow Pencil in I'm soft gonna, black. I'm gonna make a new, a little bit water in the other ball because he just, he, he just did his nose. I don't know, I'm not gonna hold it. All right, time to go deal with the situation. All right, Shantikai Brow Gel. Full name is the Full Brow Perfecting Gel in Tint, and I'm using this in the shade Dark. Now, this is definitely not a normal running errands makeup look for me. This is definitely like a lot more makeup than what I normally wear, but I just really wanna see how this kind of holds up throughout the day when I'm actually running around doing things. Um, I really want to see how this holds up and um, yeah, I just, I'm kind of in one of those moods where I just want to put a little bit of makeup on. Sometimes I just want to look a little bit more put together than, uh, you know, like lip gloss and brow gel. So yeah, this is definitely a little more elevated than normal, but I'm just feeling like it, like wearing makeup today. So I also have these Alme Velvet Foil Cream Shadows. Now, I don't wear eyeshadow, never wear eyeshadow but I really want to try these out and see how they wear. So I'm going to mix these two shades. I have Out of the Woods, which is a really pretty kind of bronzy shade. Let's see if you can see that. And then I also have the shade Golden Vibes, which is just like a true golden champagne. So I'm going to mix these two on the back of my hand um, just to see how it goes. Um, they actually sent me a bunch of shades but these are just kind of the more neutral ones that I want to play with today. Yeah, and they're very much like a moussey cream texture. So I'm just going to mix those together. Really curious to see how these wear. Um, and if you like these kind of one and done cream shadows, I just did a full video talking all about my favorite one and done shadows. So definitely check that out. These are applying really nicely though really easy with the fingers and I like this color too it's kind of like a I don't even know how to describe this really pretty though I like the mixture of those two all right and then I'm gonna take a little bit of my power bronzer from Danessa Myricks and I'm just gonna run that around the outer edge all right, I'm gonna take a little bit of my bronzer. And run that along my lower lash line. And I will mention, I'm trying to wipe the cream shadow off my hand. It is not coming off. So that is a good sign. My kids are being so loud. All right, so Ilia Limits, Limitless Lash Mascara. All right, for the lip, I'm just gonna take Ara Perez Sesame Lip Pencil in the shade Shy. All right, and then I am just going to apply that same Sigma lip oil right on top. All right, guys, so that is the look. This is the makeup I'm wearing today. This is definitely an elevated look. This is not my normal running errands look, but like I said, just sometimes I just like to put a, put some makeup on, play with makeup on, uh, play with makeup on, play with my makeup. And I also really want to see how these Alme products hold up. So I will let y'all know, definitely keep you posted. I've actually got some other Alme products that I want to try as well that they sent me. So got a few things that I kind of want to try here and there and really this is my only time to try it is when I'm actually wearing makeup in my everyday life so I will say I'm super excited about this super impressed um yeah it's beautiful on its own and it's even more beautiful mixed in with the beauty blur which I already love but oh such a good just like everyday 
natural, effortless base. So, so pretty. So really impressed so far, but I'll keep y'all updated on everything else. But I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for getting ready with me in my bathroom. I hope you like these more chill, casual, st uh, casual style videos. I had a really good response in my last video, so I will continue to do these if you enjoy them. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, I love you, God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys. Yeah.